Hi, I'm Andre, and it's time once again for Ranger Watch. Do -do 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 -do. We got a new toy commercial about the interactive Megazord toy. That guy right there. Now, I already did a video about the Megazord toy, as well as did a second video where I showed you some of the extra voices that I found from the different Power Rangers inside of the toy. It's actually a really cool toy. But what's really got people buzzing about this commercial is that we are seeing our first glimpse of Goldar. Yes, again, we are seeing a character from the Power Rangers movie, not in the actual trailer, not in the actual movie, in a toy commercial. Yay, merchandising. And let's just say this Goldar is a little bit different from the Goldar from back in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers days. Uh, they really took his name Goldar seriously because he is literally a monster completely made of gold. When I played all the different voices from the Megazord toy, you remember that Zack said, oh man, that's a lot of gold. We now see what he's referring to. Kind of similar to when in the original series when Finster would make things out of clay and that's what would turn into the putties. And then he would even make little clay versions of the different monsters, put them through a machine, and that's what made the giant monster. So I think in that vein, take a lot of gold to mold it all together to make Goldar. That's an assumption, but that's what it feels like is happening. Now, as I've said many times, this is a reboot, but I am sorry, Saban. I'm sorry, Lionsgate. I ain't feeling this. I don't like this. I, it's just a big, giant glob of gold. It looks like melted cheese. It looks like those cheese fountains that you would see at like a buffet. You know, in Vegas, it's like, oh, here's a cheese fountain. Dip something inside of it. Then there's a chocolate fountain. Will there be a chocolate version of Goldar? Will there be a chocolate door? Uh, Cause that actually would be pretty cool if you make a big giant chocolate monster and you gotta eat your way through them. But serious, man, it's like she took the powers of a fondue and turned it into a monster. Look, I know I'm not the person that likes to do the whole like, my childhood, don't mess up my childhood. My childhood is intact, my nostalgia is there. The old episodes of Power Rangers are always available. That being said, Goldar to me was one of my favorite characters. And I also thought he was one of the coolest looking monsters on Power Rangers, because we all know Power Rangers didn't have that crazy of a budget. So some of the monsters were like, I'm gonna talk, but my mouth never moves. Arr, this is great because it's Japanese footage and you don't have to make the mouth movements match your English dialogue. Arr. But Goldar actually moved his mouth a little bit and he had the big gold-plated outfit. He kind of looked like a buffed up steroided flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz. He even got wings later on when Lord Zed came along and he had the glowing eyes and he looked really cool in the movie. I thought that was actually one of the best upgrades from TV show to movie when they did the original Power Rangers movie was Goldar. It makes sense because since he's one of the monsters that you see regularly on the show as opposed to being the monster of the week or monster of the day, it makes sense that he was a more detailed monster and he also was part of the series for a long time. So to see him just being like, I'm like, okay, take the nostalgia away. Let's just get rid of all the nostalgia just as a design. It's literally gold monster. Like there's no facial expressions on it. The sword is like attached to his body. Like as a toy, would you want that? People want to complain about this. I like this. I think this is like at least interesting of a design. I'm looking forward to seeing what the more legacy version or a more detailed version looks like because this is kind of the plastic little kid version toy. But still, it's something. This is just gold. It's just gold and like nothing else. Here's my hope. I'm hoping that what this is is maybe an early form of Goldar. Like Rita has awakened, so maybe she also awakens Goldar as part of her plan. And this is sort of like an early form of him. And then eventually it evolves into a different version of Goldar. It doesn't look exactly like the original show, but at least some kind of interesting version. Because again, because you can make whatever you want to make with this movie, you could make a really cool CGI or even animatronic Goldar that could be very interesting and look better than what we got back in the days in the 90s show and even the first movie. Personally, I think that would be really awesome if he comes out in this form, this goldy melted form and they fight him and either they defeat him and Rita gets mad and uses her powers to evolve him or maybe just over time because he was away for so long that he slowly turns from this gold creature to some variation of the original Goldar or just some version of Goldar that looks like an actual monster. I think that would actually be pretty cool. And that'd be a nice little bait and switch Power Rangers movie. If you made us all think that that was gonna be our Goldar and then we get to the movie and we find out in the movie, oh snap, that is actually not his final form then that would be pretty awesome. I just 
don't think that this can be the final form. I really honestly cannot believe that this is the final form of Goldar. I think he is going to evolve into something else. At the same time, I might be giving a Lionsgate Power Rangers movie way too much credit to think that far ahead. And if you did not think of that idea, then I, I give it to you, okay? If this is the only form of Goldar we're getting in this movie and you got some time to write or get ready for the sequel, if you have a sequel, then I would say, Take this form of Goldar and evolve him into some other form of Goldar that looks like something. It doesn't even have to look exactly like the original Goldar. You can have some interpretation to it, but just something with a face <laughs> with some different colors than just gold. Monsters are just a huge part of Power Rangers. Like that is one of the essential key things to Power Rangers is the monsters. So if the monsters aren't done right in this movie, that, that's a big strike. I think the suits are fine. I think the cast is fine. I think Rita is fine. I think Rita's outfit is fine because I see the Green Ranger connection and I even think the Zord is fine. I even was not all that hardcore about Alpha with his design. I thought it was a couple things that was weird about it, but overall I was like, this is their form of Alpha. I will take it. But this took something that had a face and gave it no face. A lot of original Power Rangers monsters didn't have faces or at least didn't have faces that moved. So you actually had the opportunity to have a nice, cool CGI facial Goldar moving around and you just was like, nah, gold, get it? Cause his name is Goldar, let's just make him out of gold. This should have been the one time that you're like, let's not stray too far from the original show. I don't know why Goldar was the one that broke me, but that's the one time. I'm not 100% this ruins the movie for me. I'm just hoping there's more to Goldar than this. Unless there's just something amazing that happens with the way this Goldar is in the movie. They could surprise me, but that's again why sometimes it would be nice at least to see some movie before seeing a toy because I don't like judging things based on toys. But Power Rangers, let's be honest, at the end of the day, it ain't about the movies, it ain't about the shows. It's about making that money off of these puppies. So that's what's gonna be front and center regardless. We have to accept that. Still seeing this movie, just wish there was a different Godar. That's all I got to say. What do you think? I've also been making a new video every single day for Vlogmas, so if you have missed any of the videos, check them out. They've been going on since Black Friday. Please subscribe and also ring that bell so you'll be notified of future videos that I make. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, train chump, yomp. Is he even gonna have that voice? Like, it'd be really cool if he had the Godar voice at least. Can you give me that, please? Please? Now I'm scared of what they'll do to Lord Zed.